at 20 to 3, but we're going to move very swiftly. SO British Touring Car Championship. Dominated last year by Rob Gravett and Andy Rouse. 13 rounds in all. The commentator on the national circuit at Silverstone, Murray Walker. The first race for the RAC's new two-litre touring car formula. And it's on Silverstone's 1.65 mile national circuit. Part of a very different Silverstone after enormous expenditure by the British Racing Drivers Club to create a variety of circuits at their famous home of British motor racing. A national circuit uses the Grand Prix track from the start to the new Beckett's Corner, which leads into the club straight with its kink before the new left-hander at Brooklands and the double right called Luffield. Ready and eager for Silverstone's touring car action, there's a bumper crowd to watch Britain's top drivers in cars from five manufacturers. In pole position, it's international a Steve Soper's BMW next to the BMW of the vastly underrated Will Hoy. Row two. Grand Prix driver Jonathan Palmer's BMW and the Toyota Carina of four times British champion Andy Rouse. Then the Vauxhall Cavalier of 1989 British champion John Cleland with Ray Belm's BMW M3. Several of the teams have worked through the night to finish preparing their new cars, but now it's race time for 25 laps. And 1991 is go. And it's a searing start from Will Hoy on the left. Now we're with Steve Soper. Up to Cops, he's in second place. Hoy on the left, from second gear to third, from third to fourth, into Cops' corner. Three abreast. It's Will Hoy, BMW, Cleland, Soper, Palmer in his BMW, and Andy Rouse passing Jonathan Palmer. Andy Rouse in the Toyota. Now we're with Andy Rouse, fourth place. Steve Soper ahead, up to Maggot's curve, 130 miles an hour, down to Beckett's, and there's Palmer on the left, he's turning in, thump! He's hit Andy Rouse, off! Off goes the Toyota, what a start for his first Toyota race. And Andy Rouse rejoins almost last, they've all streamed through. Up to Brooklands at the end of the lap, it's Will Hoy leading, Cleland second, Steve Soper in third position, then Jonathan Palmer, Jeff Allen, Tim Harvey in the BMW, Lawrence Bristow. Now, the leader, Will Hoy, is a bit of a surprise for a lot of people because Will's comparatively unknown in Britain, but he's been Clubman's champion and he's won the Japanese Touring Car Championship twice. He leads at the end of the lap. Soper in third place is closing up on John Cleland. Here they go to Cobbs, Hoy, Cleland in the Vauxhall, Soper third, in car with Soper. It's drizzling, windscreen wipers going. Vauxhall Cavalier ahead, 280 horsepower, 130 miles an hour, into Maggot, sixth gear. Down into third for Beckett, 60 miles an hour. Now into the fast club street. Let's see if the BMW M3 can catch and pass John Cleland's Vauxhall Cavalier. My goodness, he can't. Down into Brooklands. High leading. Cleland, Soper trying to go through on the inside. Cleland shuts the door, holds that second place. We're with Soper now. On to Luffield, the double right-hander at the end of the lap. And hats off to Vauxhall. It's only the second racing year for the Cavalier. The BMW M3 has had five years development and the Cavalier's ahead of it. But not ahead of Will Hoy's. Look, Will Hoy leading into Cops. And number three, Andy Rouse is fighting back in the front-wheel drive Toyota. He's last for two, but he's gaining. Now, here's a replay. We're looking back from Andy Rouse's Toyota at Ray Bell's BMW, and alongside us, you can't see him, is Jonathan Palmer, and we're off. And the rest of them go streaming through. Jonathan Palmer's all right. He's gone on down the club street, but we're rejoining. And listen to the stones on the underside of the Toyota as Rouse rejoins. Up to speed. Will Hoy leading by one and a half seconds behind him and very close to each other. John Cleland, Vauxhall, number five. Steve Soper, BMW, number 44, third place. Three champions leading. BMW, Vauxhall, BMW. In car with Steve Soper. He was in pole position. He was expected to win in the BMW works car. But John Cleland ahead of him in the Dave Cook prepared Cavalier plane car is holding him off. Down the club straight again. Now, Steve Soper's in a good position to go for second, if he can. He's tight up behind the Cavalier. 
underneath the bridge, down to Brooklands, and he's done it, straight through, straight past Cleland, the last of the late breakers, Steve Soper up into second place, now can he catch Will Hoy, into Luffield, the double right, and Jeff Allen in the second box all is up to four, past Jonathan Parler, Steve Soper almost sliding off the track, second and trying, trying to catch Will Hoy ahead. John Cleland is attacking Steve Soper. We're with Cleland now in car, front wheel drive Cavalier, rear wheel drive BMW M3 ahead of us. Steve Soper lives in Monaco. Cleland comes from Peebles in Scotland and there is no quarter being given. From Maggots to Beckett's. And then Beckett's, it's Hoy. Soper, Cleland, there they are, second and third. Jeff Allen in the second box all behind them. And now we're in car with Ray Bell, BMW, eighth position, chasing Lawrence Bristow and Tim Harvey down the club straight. Into Brooklands. Number nine, Bristow in fifth position. Number four, Tim Harvey is sixth. Then it's Bell and Andy Middlehurst in the Ford Sierra. He's right up with the light blue BMW. Into Luffield. Sofa and Cleland, second and third. In car with Sofa, second place. Will Hoy is pulling away. There he is in the distance, getting smaller and smaller. And here's why. Sofa's got a problem. Sofa's got a problem. And past him, up into second place, goes John Cleland. Cops corner. Back again with Bell. He's no slouch. Three times world champion. And that's Sofa's car touring in. Steve Sofa has slowed right down, but he's still moving. And that flashing light is really distracting. It means the data logging system isn't on, so push the button, Ray. But Ray doesn't even see it. He's chasing... Oh, and thump! Thump! Ray Belm hits Tim Harvey as they go into Beckett's, and that's given Andy Middlehurst the chance to close right up. Sixth and tenth, absolutely together. Spread across the club straight. It's Cleland second, Allen third, Palmer in fourth position. Here comes Bristow in fifth place. Then it's Harvey, Belm and Middlehurst in the white... Ford Sierra on the inside. Going round Brooklands into Luffield. Great drive by Andy Middlehurst, number 99. He's in the non-turbo Graham Good Ford Sierra. Eighth place. And here's a replay of the Bellman Harvey collision. Let's see what happened. Harvey turns into Bell. They hit each other. Whose fault was it? Well, you be the judge. I'm neutral. Into the pits, Steve Soper. Well, now we're going to find out what the problem is. Up to his pit crew. And stop. What was it then? I wonder. Stuck in gear, stuck in third gear. Yeah, that's what I thought, but Steve seems very calm about it. On to cops. There's Belm, chasing Middlehurst. And ahead of them, the blue BMW, Andy Middlehurst. In front of Ray Belm here, 28 years old, comes from St. Helens. He's been a class winner in other saloon championships for the last three years. Now he's in the big one, the RAC's British Touring Car Championship. And isn't he doing well? In car with Ray Belm. And you can see how difficult it is to pass. Equal performance, these cars, and you've got to wait for somebody to make a mistake. Tim Harvey isn't making one, though. Tim Harvey, number four, ahead of Andy Middlehurst in the Sierra, number 99. Then Ray Belm, number 12, in the light blue BMW. Round Woodcote, into the straight down to Cops, and behind them, two Swedish drivers, Hagen Anderson, in the white BMW, and then the woman driver, Netan Lindgren, in, the, in another white BMW, but it's Cops Corner. Harvey, Middlehurst, and Middlehurst is, is really carrying Tim Harvey. Right on his boot lid, he's not giving him any peace at all as they come into Beckett's. See, there's about a foot, if anything, if that, between the rear bumper of Harvey's BMW and Middlehurst Ford. 
And Belm here, that we're with, isn't very far behind now as they go into Brooklands. They turn in, and Harvey's lost it. Tim Harvey spins. And that's, that's what Middlehurst Harrying has done for him. Tim Harvey spins out, and he's lost at least five places as he rejoins. And that's the 1990 Touring Car Champion Rob Gravitt in the Trackstar Sierra. He's already spun twice. He's a very unhappy man. But the battle for sixth continues. Will Hoy is out front, leading by a massive 13 seconds. He's done the fastest lap, 1 minute 47.5, 91.7 miles an hour. In car with Andy Rouse, a stunning recovery. Tenth behind Pegan Anderson, the Swede in the BMW. The white car ahead, out of Cox. Riding with four times British champion Andy Rouse. Watch that light in front of him on the fascia. When he gets up to maximum revs, it lights and tells him literally to change gear. And Rouse is through, taking Anderson's BMW, moving up to ninth position as the two Vauxhalls, second and third, go through. Now we're with John Clellan. Chasing Jeff Allen in second position. A recovery. He's right up from 19th position with Ray Belm and Andy Middlehurst. Now we're with Ray Belm now in the BMW. Middlehurst in front of us. Colossal pressure from Andy Rouse behind. Into Cox. Running a bit wide. Running very wide. Running onto the grass. Belm goes off. And, and Rouse goes through up into sixth position. And that's cost Bell places, it's cost him two places, because Rouse has gone through, Anderson in the white BMW in front has gone through. So, Beckett's. And that there, number 33, is Gary Ailes in the second Toyota Carina, going down the straight, and there's somebody pulling in. It's one of the Big Lee BMWs. It's Bristow, it's Lawrence Bristow. Oh, and this is a tragedy for him. Lawrence was in fifth position, Belm passes, Anderson passes, and that is Andy Rouse. Now he's in sixth position behind the very impressive Andy Middlehurst. Race order. Will Hoy lead, Jeff Allen second, Cleland third, Palmer fourth, Middlehurst is fifth in the fourth. Andy Rouse, number three there, is sixth. Ray Belm is seventh. Anderson is in eighth place, and Gary Ailes is ninth. It's another lap completed. On to Beckett's, and it's still Jeff Allen and John Clellan battling for that second position, with Will Hoy now nearly 16 seconds ahead of him. John Clellan is going to take Jeff Allen now down the club straight under the bridge. He's on the outside, but he's got to get through on the inside to stay ahead of Allen on the corner, and Allen is there. Jeff Allen holds his second place. The Vauxhall twins are moving as one. Look at them. Second and third. It doesn't look as though they're going to catch Will Hoy, though. And Will Cleland catch and pass Jeff Allen? Well, into the pits. Lawrence Bristow, what's the problem? Well, if it doesn't work, thump it. That doesn't seem to be doing any good. And a disgusted Lawrence Bristow throws aside his safety belt, gets out of the car, and the helicopter ace is out of his first BMW race. Will Hoy leads in the Big Lee Motorsport BMW M3, an immaculate race, no worries, as they say in Australia. Second place, what a race for the Vauxhalls. Allen still second, Clellan that we're with in third place, just ahead of Jonathan Palmer's BMW. Jonathan still pushing very hard, but he's dropping back a bit. You can see how hard John Clellan was trying there. He put his rear wheels right over the rumble strip onto the grass. Now, looking back, there is Andy Middlehurst in the white Ford, fifth. Andy Rouse in the blue Toyota, sixth. Steve Soper back in the race, but well down. And Ray Belm in seventh position. 
now in car with Andy Rouse, trying so hard to pass Middlehurst, and it looks as though he's done it at Cox. No, he hasn't. Middlehurst is staying there on the outside of the corner. This is incredible. He's staying in front on the outside. Rouse had the inside line, but still he couldn't get past. Now, Middlehurst should pull away because he's got the inside line at Maggots, and he does, and that's Steve Soper, unlapping himself. Past Andy Rouse. Well, Andy Rouse couldn't get past Middlehurst, but Soper has got past Rouse. Is Soper now going to be able to get past Middlehurst? There's the Ford Sierra in front. And with absolutely no trouble at all, Steve Soper drives through on the inside to take Andy Middlehurst, unlap himself. His gearbox is obviously fixed, and Ray Belm is now right up with Andy Rouse. As we look back from Rouse's car at Belm again, Ray's really enjoying himself. He set up this new team with Vic Lee prepared BMWs, and they're first and seventh, 140 miles an hour. Up to Cops. There they go, Middlehurst, Rouse, Bell, Ford, Toyota, BMW, looking back again. Up to Maggots. From Maggots into the right-hander at Beckett's. There's Rouse. On the right is Bell. In front is Middlehurst. Up to Brooklands, and they've all got their windscreen wipers going. The drizzle is increasing in intensity. As Andy Rouse struggles to make up places, three-wheeling round the left-hander. Three-wheeling round the right-hander. Try, try, try as he may, Andy Rouse just can't take the very impressive Andy Middlehurst. Will Hoy is bound to win this race if he just keeps going. Allen second, Will Clellan catch him, but more importantly, because we're riding with Andy Rouse in sixth position, will he catch Middlehurst ahead? And would he stay ahead of Ray Bell, who is in seventh place? Well, with Andy Rouse now, out of Cox, Maggots, down plug straight, and Will Hoy is winning his lead is down to 10 seconds. This is the last corner. His car sounds OK. And Will Hoy wins a brilliant race, provided he just gets across the line, which he does now, to take 24 points. Jeff Allen second, Clallan third. But where is Palmer? Because here are Middlehurst and Rouse ahead of Soper and Bell. They're fourth, fifth and sixth. Middlehurst fourth, Rouse fifth, Bell sixth. And now they're on the rundown lap. Look at all that rubber crumb in the foreground from worn tyres as they went round the corner. But the question is, what happened to Jonathan Palmer? He completely disappeared on that last lap. Well, here is a replay of whatever happened. Jonathan down the club straight at about 140 miles an hour on his way to the left-hander at Brooklands, down through the gearbox. And he's just lost it. Just as simple as that. Through go Middlehurst and Rouse. And down goes Jonathan Palmer. Sad end to his first BMW race. So, Will Hoy in the Big D Motorsport BMW M3 takes a superb, absolutely unchallenged win and the fastest record lap in round one of the 13th race 1991 British Touring Car Championship. Well, I just think that was one of those lucky races where the, the lead guy gets away and doesn't get muddled up with the traffic behind. And I mean, these cars are now so close that if you can't get past somebody, you can, you can lose so much time if you're a bit quicker and that you haven't got that power advantage you have with the, perhaps the Sierra Cosworth. And uh, so I think that uh, if one car can get away, maybe he can make a jump and stay in front. But we actually had a big problem last four laps. I mean, I was terrified. It'd been very easy and then suddenly I started getting a misfire and uh, I wasn't picking up the fuel properly out of uh, one of the tanks. And so the last two laps, the car was virtually stopping after Cobbs. And it was just like the Group C formula, uh, fuel formula, when you have to run the last two laps on the field just to get to the finish. I mean, I was, I was, I was terrified. So, one round completed, 12 to go. Will Hoy leads the championship, six points clear of Jeff Allen, and with twice as many points as John Clellan. The next round is at Snetterton. The team should be even closer there. Watch it on Grandstand.